Hello beautiful people, welcome to Global Happiness Today. Honestly, this whole issue of politics in 2023 is getting very interesting. A lot of twists, a lot of turns, a lot of interesting things are happening. David Omahi, does he risk getting two years jail term? Jail term, in the moment we're going to find out what the law may say concerning his senatorial bid. In fact, it's getting very interesting. I'm beginning to love this whole thing. It's not like as it used to be those days. The Electoral Act, the new Electoral Act 2022 is catching up on the old politicians. Let's go straight into the news to find out what may be the fate of Peter uh, uh, David Omari of Ebony State and the fact that the woman may actually be taking over that seat instead of his brother. Let's go straight into the news. Just less than 24 hours after criticizing Peter Obi, David Umayi with his brother disqualified from a senatorial contest. He's receiving water, water sharply. This is interesting. This is the woman that defeated His Excellency Engineer David Umayi today in a Lake Federal High Court. She's Mrs. Anne Agum Eze. She came, she came second in the APC senatorial primary election. APC senatorial primary election for Ebony South Zone. And in David Umar, his younger brother, Austin Umahi, came first. Then Austin Umahi withdrew from the election and relinquished the ticket to Engineer David Umahi. Einek frowned at it and omitted Engineer David Umahi's name as it never monitored the rerun exercise, announced, announcing Umahi's candidacy. I'll take that again. Einek frowned at it and omitted Engineer David Umahi's name as it never monitored the rerun exercise announcing Umahi's candidacy. Engineer David Umahi went to Federal High Court in Abakaleke, seeking order of court for Einek to publish his name as senatorial candidate for Ebony South. And Agom Eze applied to be joined in the suit. Delivering his judgment this morning on the suit, Justice Riemann cited Section 115 of the Electoral Act, which forbids a person from standing two different primary elections in the same year. He said in his judgment that, that such a person, if found claiming to participate in two primary elections, risk a two-year jail term. He said that the authentic senatorial candidate of the APC is now Mrs. Anne Agom Eze since Austin Umahi has withdrew from the race. Therefore, if Engineer David Umahi files an appeal, he stands to gain two years jail bounty as stated by Justice Riemann in his judgment. Congratulations to Mrs. Anne Agom Eze. Nigerians are boozing. Everywhere is boozing. If David Umayi have known, he would have allowed Austin Umayi to just continue. Because if he check very well to just be his brother, and to a great extent, just maybe his brother could even watch his back. Now, um, Austin Umayi has resigned. By default, if the first the first position resigns, the second runner up, the first runner up takes over, the second position takes over. And the mistake David Umayi made, if you ask me personally, because I think the same thing happened to God's way probably you. A power of a uh, acquired bomb state, uh, Lawantu made the same mistake. So, all of them just you know, it was as if it was a party arrangement. All these other people are just be waiting for some things to happen. Well, what they should have done, knowing full well that they have put what we call uh, their prology in that position, or like like uh, the name they call it, name holder in the person of their, either their brothers or their friends or their colleagues. What they would have done is in the rerun, invite Einek. That of Lawan, I don't know how to fare because the young man has refused to let go. So Lawan may likely not even go through except APC in their magnanimity decide to bend the law. I don't know how to do that as well. But with this one now, the Umahis have lost out. They didn't calculate well. Umahi would have just, David Umahi has the money, would have invited Ainek and said, sorry, based on one or two things, uh, my brother have decided to resign. I want you to ob observe the rerun. Then they, with the rerun now, Umahi will be there Okay, while the woman will also rerun as, as the sitting governor, he says a lifestyle victory. Let's leave sentiment as the sitting governor. He knows what to do, except if the people does not even love him at all. You understand? He knows what to do, but they just did this thing, pako pako, pato pato. The whole thing, the next thing they announced themselves as winner. In fact, this election, 2023 election, has so many to the in fact, the twist is more interesting than the tones. And the way it is going, I don't know how Nigeria will get better. 
as we keep moving, if they will keep uh, my prayer is that let there be no bags of um, Ghana must go back there and there that will make any changes at the tail end where the final names that will come out to now show that the very people who ought to have lost out are now still sitting behind uh, uh, the seats. Let's hope that um, justice finds its true cause. And also, let's hope that this woman will stand, stand uh, strong till the very end. Okay, let's feel the pulse of Nigerians. Nigerians are having uh, a few days, honestly. This person here is saying, Otoporius flogging for Mahi. The only way these people feel he can remain politically relevant is to play a bony versus other Igbo's card, which has continued to fail them since 12 BC. And that person here say, Oh, the woman, Sabi body too much. And that person touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. And that person here say, So his younger brother is not good enough to run? Why didn't he allow his younger brother since he won the primary? Honestly, that's the first thing I said. At least the younger brother will still watch his back. Now they both have lost the ticket. But the person continued by saying he must be the one to retain in power, remain in power, to remain relevant or even after eight years of being a governor. This goes a long way to show the type of person David Omar is. This is what somebody here is saying. Mm. But then there must have been an agreement. You never can tell. Maybe the younger brother here doesn't want to be a politician, just doing it, you know, probably just to favor his elder brother. Who knows? You were not there. This person here said the younger brother was just standing in for him because the primary election was conducted during the presidential primary. The younger brother won the election for him. When he lost the presidential primary, he, mag he magnanimously made the APC able in state to cancel the senatorial primary and conducted another one, which he eventually won. But INEC, based on the fact that they were not there to witness it, have refused to let go. Okay? This person here said the biggest blunder, political blunder Omar he made was leaving PDP. With the exit of Peter Obi, he would have easily been chosen as Tatiku's running mate because he's an outgoing governor. But I don't want greed motivated. I don't want. I don't know what greed motivated him to think that he would defeat a whole Jagaban, Amechi, Osibanjo, and so on in APC primaries and easily get the tickets. As things are, his senatorial ambition is dead and buried. And if he can't even control APC in Ebony State, how does he intend to control Ebony people by telling them who and who? not to vote for especially uh for next year's election mm, so people are saying no matter is politically finished well let's see how it plays out there's still enough time you never can tell there could be a miracle somewhere and that person here says he will go with the way of a loser finally and that person here is saying the same woman here that said Igbo won't vote for obi well let's how it plays out uh there's still enough time we have uh, some months to go 2023 things are unfolding and uh, let's hope that the more more of this drama will not unfold it's getting really interesting that's a way to wrap it up let's go to that conversation what's up